Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In last tutorial, we have seen how to search a user. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to add user from here to our LDAP server. So before adding anything, I need to refactor my code. I will just come down and I will create one function and I will give the name as a search user, right? and here we are going to copy all the search related code inside that function so what i will do i will just come and cut from here paste inside that one and if you remember we have also used our search filter related things so cut and paste it here and what we have to do this client now we have to define globally right and we can now search this user so we can also test it is working fine or not so now just run this one so once you will run you can see we are getting same output as earlier video so it is working fine so now what we have to do we have to just come down and we have to create one function and we can give the name as a add user right and here we are going to write our add user code so just go to ldap.js as you know we are using ldap.js and here you can see client api and if you scroll down right you can see this add pod is there just copy that code and you can paste it here so this is entry right an entry like whatever the variable you are going to put like attribute so cn is foo so here if you notice here all the user we are added on the basis of cn right so make sure like that one so i don't want this one i'm going to remove this one because i will add the cn from here directly and sn we can take this one i no need email here so just comment this one and object class so if you see here the object class right we have different values so we are just going to take i need org person so just come and you can take here i net org person right and after that we need to enter that cn so if you notice you can take any user right we are going to uh, store all the user inside this organization unit so this will be that cn of that user so i'll just come and copy paste and here i can change the name so i'm just going to change the name as a foo right and we can change as a if error will be there then it will print like console dot log and we can put the message like error in new user right and just display that error message right and suppose if you got our response as a successful we can print message like console dot log added user right so what actually we are doing we have added here sn as a bar and object class we have defined after that we are adding our location like where we need to add the user on the basis of cn right so this is our full path and this is the entry after that we need to copy this one so once you will run it will load this function and here we are binding our connection right so if our connection will be successful right so it will go this condition and here just try to put our condition and try to run so once you will run you can see we are getting the message like added user successfully so what you can do just come and try to refresh here so you can press f5 or you can reload from here and you can notice right we have added one user here correctly so suppose one user is already there right and again you are going to add so what will happen you will get one exception here so you can see here user is already existed why it is happening because as i said you earlier right we need to use this one as a unique right so if i will change as a foo one and if i will run you can see again it will add the user as a successful so if you notice here you can see currently eight user is there right so this is a way to add user suppose you are going to add this field also right and you change the name as a 2 and if you will run 
and after that you will see one error is there attribute email is not declared why you are getting this error because if you go at that location right and if you click here new attribute right and you can see there is no any email attribute so suppose if you are getting this kind of exception that means that attribute is not there so you need to write your logic to add that attribute so in next video we are going to see how to delete user right so in this video we have added some user so in next video we are going to delete user from organization unit